Aw, animals. Rabid Bobcat Attacks Wildlife Officer in Florida Home This is the terrifying moment a rabid bobcat bit a fish and wildlife officer in Venice, Florida. Wildlife officers were called in after the bobcat attacked the family dog and then ran into the house. The cat got into the house when homeowner Karen Morris heard her dog barking outside and opened the door. The bobcat tested positive for rabies. Because the animal marked its territory in the house, everyone inside had to get rabies shots, including Morse's grandsons, who were visiting from North Carolina. Get out of there! Go! Go! The dog, Sammy, a five-pound Italian greyhound, also suffered five puncture wounds. The attack occurred four miles from where another bobcat attacked two men who were out walking. That animal has not yet been caught. Florida's Department of Health has issued a rabies alert for Venice and North Port. The alert lasts for 60 days. No, somebody's gonna help him. The other guy. Here are two more stories about bobcats caught on camera. Shark attacked by bobcat at Florida Beach. A photo of a bobcat walking along a beach in Florida with a shark in its mouth went viral on Tuesday. John Bailey, who photographed the epic moment, said he was taking a stroll at Sebastian Inlet State Park in Vero Beach Monday evening. He noticed a bobcat staring off into the water. When suddenly it leaped into the water to attack a shark that was feeding near the shoreline. The shark floundered for a while but was eventually subdued by the bobcat. Unfortunately, Bailey got too close to the bobcat and the startled animal dropped its dinner and sprinted back into the woods. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has deemed the photo to be authentic. Geotagging bobcat leads to discovery of two newborn kittens. Aww, aren't they just the cutest? These little bobcat kittens were born last month in California's Santa Monica Mountains, where biologist Joanne Moriarty and her team of National Park Service researchers had been tracking their mother's GPS collar through the spring. Using a GoPro to capture footage of a spot she was frequenting, they found the two male kittens nuzzling together in a wood rat nest. The little ones, now affectionately known as Bobcat B340 and B341, were then tagged, measured, and returned to their cozy nest. By studying their diets and behaviors, the researchers' findings will aid a continued effort to help protect wildlife habitats in the area. The scientists also set up a camera in the den to watch out for mom's return. When she got back though, the little cat pack's stay was short-lived and they soon moved out of the den, much to the delight of the original occupant of the nest, a wood rat. <laughs> 